Let's talk about posture and how to hold a guitar for just a second. I know this great flamenco player who studied with a really strict teacher, and the teacher didn't let him play a note on the guitar for a year until he got his posture down right. We're, we're going to move a little bit more quickly than that here. And basically, it's just the guitar kind of falls very naturally into your lap. The waist can just sit right across your thigh, assuming you're right-handed, your right thigh, and your arms just kind of fall across the top. Sometimes players will want to get in like this, which is more of a classical position. And you might find that better if playing like this cuts off the circulation on your upper arm. You might want to sit like this or even get a little guitar footstool to lift your left leg up a bit. But most people just for strumming along don't want to sit like this in a very natural way. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Remember, we're trying to have fun here and we want things to just flow and the more naturally and more comfortably your body sits, the more naturally the music's going to flow out of you. It's true, just tensing up results in tense sounding music. By the same token, you know, as we're trying to fret chords for the first time, it's going to be tricky and we're going to have a lot of tension in our hand and we're going to be trying to press really hard and it can result in certainly calluses and sore fingertips and maybe even some hand or wrist soreness. Try and relax as best you can. Everybody encounters this as they get started, but you really, if you just think about keeping your hand in a very natural position and then bringing it to the guitar neck and then only pressing as hard as you need to to sound the notes. We'll talk about that when we get into chords. But it's just all about sitting with a guitar comfortably and playing comfortably. If your guitar has been sitting unused for a long time, maybe under your bed or, God forbid, in the garage, first thing to do is to take it out and dust it off and take it into a guitar shop or your local music store that works on instruments. There you ask the guy to set the guitar up for you. It won't cost much and it'll save you a lot of trouble down the line. What it'll do is make sure that the strings aren't hanging three inches off the fretboard, which can make it a real nightmare to play, and make sure all the parts are moving smoothly as they should. You also want to ask him to put on a new set of light gauge acoustic strings. You can play with gauges that are maybe 12 and under, ask him for 12 gauge or lighter. Uh, anything heavier than that is really going to uh, be tough on your fingers and anything way lighter is going to go out of tune a little bit too quickly. So just ask him for a nice set of light gauge strings and have him tune it up for you.